Howdy everyone, um, here's our little demo on uh, doing online, a little remote learning on those. Um, I have, uh, we're ready to go ahead and start painting the head of uh, our bird of prey. Um, and I guess this is kind of where we start to decide uh, what sort of bird this is going to be anyway. I remember I, I printed off a couple of these sort of things here. So uh, this was my first ori original thing and this is kind of a peregrine falcon. I think this is a... a uh, a younger one or a prairie falcon on those. Not sure on some of these other ones, um, but that's the the markings on the head. Uh, a lot of times are what distinguish your birds uh, on what they are um, with those. So I went ahead and did a little more research. Came up with this guy here, which is a is a pretty good one. I think this is a juvenile peregrine falcon, um, so it doesn't have as much of the of the coloring on there um, that we see. Sometimes there's yellows in there, and here's another. Here's another picture of a juvenile, uh, I believe, on that one, where the yellow is just starting to come in around the beak, and um, <clears throat> but still has a lot of brown on that one. And the birds we've been doing is a primarily a brown bird, but you see the the white chest with the the little bitty streaks in it. This is is more of an adult uh, peregrine falcon on those, uh, and has more of a the the yellowing of around the beak area that we're looking for. Uh, things that you'll note on the on the bill anyway that it has a hook and then has a little dip and then a, a little bit of a that sort of thing so there's almost like a, a second tooth or something right here um, my son told me that that is there for um, actually breaking the uh, the spine and stuff of its prey kind of gruesome and it's, it's thought on that one but hey it's a bird of prey and that's what he does uh, with those um, so those are some of the ideas that I have that I'm going to work with I'll probably work with one of these more here since I have a brown bird to begin with. Um, some that are in this color rather than um, coloration and what we're looking for on um, those. But I'm just going to have these sitting over as, as references off the off screen. Um, I just wanted to show them to you so you kind of knew what I was working with uh, when I was starting to starting to get these things going. Um, uh, my paints are starting to dry out a little bit so I might need to mix up a little bit more uh, as we go along. Um, I do need to follow some of the some of the guidelines and things that we're looking for. Uh, we transitioned this one where we had a little bit more light that was underneath here. Uh, that we might come in and shade it in with just a little bit more um, shadow stuff on that one. I wanted to just come in here maybe just because I, I wanted we know that it's um, the bird has a primary white under its chin, but that is kind of a shadow area, you know, the light isn't coming up from the bottom, and so um, maybe we come in here with some of this sort of an effect where we have, this is my lightest, uh, lightest brown that I have uh, on that, and so uh, perhaps a little bit of shadow area under here as we see that. And this will also help give us some directional things happening so that the, the, the bill and the beak are coming down a little bit here. And now I think I'm going to take just, this is the medium value and, and just a little bit uh, along this area so that the, the bird does have a uh, shadow area underneath its um, underneath its head. I think that will serve us a little bit better uh, to where we have a little bit more uh, of what that's happening. Um, following our usual procedures, we usually go dark to light on those. Um, the, their light area is is right in through here, but we do have some some dark transitions. This is going to be with the black, so I'm going to have to mix that up in a little bit, and we'll probably do this in a couple of different parts on that. Um, but as we come back here, this is going to go lighter and gradually get darker as it kind of goes away from there, and so the, your darker values here. So let's jump in with those those darker values. Hopefully, be able to, like I said, still have some of my paint working for me here. Um, on those and so I'm going to just come back over here I can't set my hand down on the wet paint on there so we're going to on this area is here and I, I want it kind of kind of streaky
because it's not going to all be just uh, dark, dark, dark on those. And there's usually a little bit maybe of light over here, so I'm just kind of putting some streaks of the darkest value in over here. And I, I don't know if that's my... I said it's getting a little bit dry, and so it's not attaching as well. We might have to mix some of that up. And then um, the dark values is, and themselves also come back and down around here. I'm going to take it down to the, the eye level for right now just because um, if I can do this in parts and you can kind of see the parts and how they work then I think we'll be able to get a little bit better handle on finishing off and it doesn't have to be as long of a of a treatment of a video that we're working with on those. So I'm cleaning out my brush and let's go to our, our, our next brown in here and we're just going to have some a little, little betweener streaks maybe and I'm just looking to put those in between and like I said we might come out with some some darker stuff even on that. And this, this is probably a good example here where you can kind of see how we have and, and the dark areas is most going to be the interplay between those the, the darkest brown and our um, our next value the, with those so dark versus the 70% the or 75% so I'm kind of building a little crown right on that of these, of these streaks of, of, of dark And trying to eliminate the little teeny um, white specks that kind of come through on those. That's kind of pretty cool. Okay. Now, as this comes down, we've established that it's a little bit lighter as it comes down to the front. Uh, we're going to have to have some transitioning sort of a things. And so now this, um, this is the crown part here, the darkest part. And so as things come off of that, um, I'm going to take... And I'm just going to put this. This is just the, the layer of your, your darkest brown, or not your darkest brown, but the other value. And I'm building it up here in front of. Like I said, we may end up going back and, and putting even some darker bits in there. Got to get a little bit of an angle so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to build this to the front, but then you're going to be doing the same thing on the back. And when the when the paint gets a little dry, it does get a little bit uh, transparent. Let's get it this so there's a little bit more of it there so we can actually see it. If you can create the brush strokes too, that's going to also leave some texture on there um, as, you, as you drag the the paint across there and you leave little streaks of, of the paint on top of that it'll work out really well for you okay so there's that brown let's transition into this one now the transition doesn't it comes pretty fast and so let's take this one here and this is the head right and so this has to change change values and it's coming down this is similar to what we've done on some of the other areas of the of our verb now this needs to transition all the way to a white in this area so I, I need to get this this get this kind of going here as it's coming down. Kind of like that. And I think what we're going to do is I might take some of these streaks to help transition 
up into that darker part, right? How's that? That's that's a little bit more blended to where it's coming down. Let's go to our next uh, next lightest value, right? And so from here, we're just going to put in these guys. And as I'm doing this this part, like this is this is the head part here. These things here will have some some similar effects. They're going to jump pretty. Uh, Quick though, because the feathers are a little longer, and they, um, and as such, they they don't they're a little bit sharper. But these feathers are a little bit shorter. So we'll just take these guys down here. that and it, it kind of uh, what I'm looking for is maybe this this separating out this way and these separating out this way so at the crown of his head right here that's coming down this way um, that's where the separation comes that's where these feathers are coming back this way and these feathers are coming back this way and I'm going to streak just a little bit into there. And what I want to do now, I'm actually going to come back with that other one. And I want to streak some of this into here is what I really want. So this is our, our medium brown again. I got, I got it too light. So let's streak that down a little bit. this transition and that's going to help show that this this eye is a little bit more rounded here because it gets slightly darker as it comes into that portion now let's go back and get some of this stuff here so I can make that blend a little bit a little bit better This part comes down, and then this part right here. Now, back to our old friend, the white. And now this is going to have to blend off of that. Now I am going to have to go back to the well here a couple times and get more white because as I place it and pull it down in here, it's going to want to it's going to want to do its stuff. It's going to want to mix. And so I have to refresh that white in the paint. streak this just back up and in just a little bit so it has a smoother transition and then this is where it's a little bit lighter and it looks to me like the white is coming down here and then it's going to stop about there it's going to wrap around down to here and so there's a little curved part on that and you can't really it's hard to see the difference between the white of the paint and the white of the um, uh, uh, the, the gesso on there so Okay, so that's a pretty cool uh, thing where we have that transitioning down over here. That's a way cool sort of a thing. I'm really liking that uh, on that side of work. Remember, our beak is going to be separate. This is going to be some blacks that I'm working with here. 
um, as I come and I fill this in and starting where with the dark and then working my way up to here where it gets lighter maybe even some of the transitioning yellowishy areas over here that we're looking for but that's kind of the front part of it I'm going to take this try to take that down a little bit more um, let's see if I actually have enough of this darker paint that I, I am, I'm looking for here have some gonna have to mix up some more when I before I get to these other things and I think I'm gonna do this in a couple of different uh, different parts as it were where I can get part of the head you can see that's kind of gotten some serious goopiness on it here um, So that looks like that's coming up pretty good. Now I, I, on this, I, I don't think I need a big blend. I do need it to have a little bit of a, of a blend on that one. So what, what do I mean? I mean that this can't be just all dark. That I have to have just a little bit of this lighter brown, slightly lighter brown coming in here to where it transitions out. Uh, from there I can, I can go and, and be a little bit more creative on that sort of a thing. But I do want some of that darker, just dark brown. It's a, it's a shade lighter, but I do need it in here. If for nothing better than to um, get some of the goopies blended in on that part. So let's work about transitioning this eye area here. like we're running almost into the 17 minute mark here said I wanted this to be a shorter video okay once I get that established because this in here it's going to have an area where it, it's going to go just slightly um, uh, there's some value changes on some things here. There's some light lines and there's some dark lines and, and that sort of thing. So the, the eye is going to have to do some interesting stuff uh, as well. Let's just finish off this back portion here and put these little darker streaks in here. Once again, this is a slightly lighter brown. do some serious mixing here to get some more paint <laughs> available for us on this and little bits of I'm just seeing some little white flecks in here on some things that I wanted to do uh, with that now I'm going I'm to do this let's see how this works I'm going to blend some streaks. Just take some streaks into the lighter area. Like that. Clean off my brush. Now this is mostly a white in there, so I'm going to come and get some of this white. And I need to saturate my brush just a little bit. And then I'm thinking just using a little bit of the white and as that mixes with the, uh, the paint a little bit there, the, the dark brown, it might transition, might look a little smoother as it comes down and in. Not convinced though. We'll have to see. Because it does need to be a, a white, it, it's, a bit, it's a big shift. This is the white. Got a little 
little bit dark right there, so I'm coming back with more of the white on top of it. The little bit of dark is, is okay. It's actually kind of what we're looking for on that. Um, but I need this to, I, I can't have a hard line, too much of a hard line there, so that's why I'm coming in and trying to get this to, to do a little bit of blending. Now, the, the white paint prior has dried a little bit, and so with that, It doesn't blend really well. Okay. Dark brown into that white now. So that, that, that can make a smoother transition. So it looks like it's feathers running into feathers rather than having it all sharp and that sort of thing. So it's a nicer blend off that. And I think we can start to see that a little bit. This I haven't filled in yet, so I'm not there. And then maybe over here, now that we've got some of that happening in a value that I'm comfortable with, You can just soften the edge so it's not not a hard edge, so it's a transition. So it looks like perhaps feathers rather than just a hard, hard change of value. Something a little bit more like that. Like I said, and so that shows us our, our, our transition from one value to another where we can make it possible for these uh, these ones to work on us on that one. So anyway, I think that's probably enough for now. Um, on working on the head, we'll continue to work on that and just do it in parts. Thanks.